Hi and welcome to this video about the ILT 2014 conference app. My name is Amanda Hartman and I'm one of the members of the Spectronics Consultancy team. And today in this quick video we're going to really look um, super super quick at bookmarking and the setting of reminders which is just one of the features that can help us to find sessions that we're going to, uh, find sessions that we're interested in and set ourselves reminded to, to go to them. Now a really, really important distinction that I need to make clear right at the beginning here is that when, you're t when we're talking today about bookmarking sessions, we're just talking about bookmarking or saving as favourites some of the sessions that you're interested in, that you like the look of, that um, you want to read about, that you want to find more about, that you want to tag to watch later as on, in a virtual registration perhaps. You're basically, all you're doing is you're doing it within the app and you're just making favorites by bookmarking them. It has no relation to your session selections. It doesn't link and uh, so if you bookmark something it will not become part of your session selections because remember to select the sessions that you actually definitely want to attend you will need to go onto our Spectronics website to your conference page following the email link and um, email and specific password that you've been allocated by the conference team, you'll need to go through that process to be able to make your session selections as, and you should also watch the session selections video within the conference app for more information about that. But let's now go and have a look at the app about how we can bookmark and set reminders. Okay, so here we are within the app now and uh, we're going to just go straight into the schedule by day and we're going to look at the first Wednesday day. Okay, I can open, I can tap on the address, on the session and look at that keynote address. And what we're actually looking at is we're looking at the little flag and that's a bookmark. So from light grey is not selected to dark grey is selected. That is now one of my bookmarked sessions. Bookmark session is just a session that I want to look, I want to read up, I want to find out more information about, I want to be able to come back and look at it later. Um, I can bookmark it by tapping here. I can also open on the different events and bookmark them in there. So you can see now that um, some of those sessions should be bookmarked. Okay, so we can go through the process of bookmarking a whole lot of different sessions that we want to you know, have a look at and check it out about. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back back out of my schedule there and I just want to point out where I find my bookmarked sessions. And of course it's the last little option there. So in there, there we go. Now I have the bookmarking that I have chosen. Now it doesn't, it looks as though the one that I tried to bookmark from the outside here didn't stick, so it didn't save. So to bookmark it, to do it safely so you know that it's saved, you open up that and then you tap the little flag within it while you're looking at that actual session. Uh, there's obviously sometimes in apps there's a few little bugs, so that was one of them. So now when we go, we can now see that that opening keynote address has now been added. Okay. So basically within our, book, um, within our schedule at any time we can go, okay, oh yes, this looks really fantastic, I'm going to bookmark that so I can come back and find some notes about it. Um, I can go and have a look at my presenter and um, get some more information about that. So I'm looking at all the different options in the session. And of course, go back, go back. If I go to my bookmarked activities, you can see that Literacy and Laughs has now been there. So if I can put all, I can put bookmarks on all my favorite sessions and it's just another way. These are not necessarily the sessions that I'm definitely in intending to um, or that I'm attending, that I'm actually going to, because those are down in my schedule down the bottom there. So we're just looking at which ones that we've got particular interest in. It's also good to know that even with within your speakers, if you've got particular speakers that you um, you know that you want to catch up with and find out more about, uh, we can go and uh, bookmark them so that again, when we're back here, we can find our couple of bookmark speakers there to find and access and read up about them a little bit quicker. And similarly, um, even within our exhibitors, if there's a couple of um, exhibitors that we're really wanting to bookmark so that they're easy for us to find as we go through, yep, I'm going to save 
my favourite ones there. And then when I go back, again, similarly, my bookmarked exhibitors are there for ease. It's just about ease. So rather than having to scan through the entire list to try and find the one that I want, I can just really easily just put my bookmarked exhibitors and there they are right for me. So you can do bookmarking for your schedule. You can do bookmarking for your speakers and you can do bookmarking for your exhibitors. Now one of the things that um, I also said that I would show you is within our schedule by day, just say on Thursday there was a particular session and it was after lunch that I wanted to make sure that I made it to. So it was my um, the five minute speed sharing session here and I wanted to make sure I made it to it and it's after lunch and I've got a meeting on Thursday so I just don't want to forget to get there on time and get a good seat basically. I want to sit in the front row. I like sitting in the front row. So what I do is this time, yes I can bookmark it so I can find it easier to get my way back to it but I can also push the little clock there and that allows me to set a reminder so to remind me 15 minutes beforehand it will um, notify me that the session's about to start on the day. Okay, So that's a really useful thing to for you for any of the sessions that you're booked in to go to or sessions that you want to go and um, yeah basically for those sessions that you booked in to go to you might want to set some reminders for some of those so um, so say for example I know that on the um, the second day I am presenting here so again uh, I don't want to miss that so I should set myself a reminder 30 minutes before Okay, so now that will buzz and remind me. So what we've looked at in this quick video was bookmarking. Bookmarking has been very separate and different from our session selections that we did via our web page here. Very different. Okay, and um, and also how we can set up a, a schedule there with some uh, timed events so that we get to our places on time because we get those nice little reminders. So that is that and that's all I have to say about the app and bookmarking and scheduling. Thanks, bye.